Psalm 34, verses 13 and 14 say this, You must keep your tongue from evil and keep your lips from speaking lies. Turn away from evil. Do good. Seek peace and go after it. Well, if we're honest with ourselves, we know our tongues aren't always the most faithful. We say things without thinking them through. We say things that are hurtful. We say the first thing that comes to mind. But in seeking peace and going after it, we are responding to that part of our heart that is inspired by God, that is empowered by God's Spirit. Our prayer of confession comes from the Presbyterian Peacemaking Program. Let us pray. God of justice and peace, love and life, we confess that we are often overcome by the loud and persistent voices of fear and anger. We do not hear the voice of Jesus, which seems but a whisper. Fear insists, kill those whom you fear may kill you. The strong shall inherit the earth, and the rich shall forever rule the earth. Yet Jesus says, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Forgive us when we do not listen to you, O Lord. Anger proclaims those who live by the sword shall not only live, but flourish. Might makes right. But Jesus says, put your sword back in its place, for all who draw the sword shall die by the sword. Forgive us when we do not listen to you, O Lord. Fear instructs us, forgive no one. Those who wrong you are wrong. By forgiving them, you excuse the wrong and only encourage them. Yet Jesus warns us, if you do not forgive people their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. Forgive us when we do not listen to you, O Lord. Anger declares, hate those who hate you. By loving those you hate, you only encourage them to take further advantage of you. But Jesus says, if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. Forgive us when we do not listen to you, O Lord. Fear shouts out. <clears throat> Show everyone how strong we are, so that they will be afraid to challenge us. This is the way to prosper. Yet Jesus asks, What does it prosper people to gain the whole world and lose their life? Forgive us when we do not listen to you, O oh Lord. The voices of anger and fear seem so strong, the wisdom so alluring, the way so sensible and safe. Still, Jesus tells us there is another way, the way of peace and justice, the way of love and life. When we lack the courage to seek your way, O oh God, when fear and anger overwhelm our faith, encourage and embolden us. Open us, O oh God, that we may follow the Prince of Peace and approach our neighbors with gentleness, respect, humility, compassion, and grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hear these words of assurance from 1 Peter 3, verses 18 through 22. Christ himself suffered on account of sins once for all, the righteous one on behalf of the unrighteous. 
He did this in order to bring you into the presence of God. Christ was put to death as a human, but made alive by the Spirit. And it was by the Spirit that he went on to preach to the spirits in prison. In the past, these spirits were disobedient when God patiently waited during the time of Noah. Noah built an ark in which a few, that is eight, lives were rescued through water. Baptism is like that. It saves you now. Not because it removes dirt from your body, but because it is the mark of a good conscience towards God. Your salvation comes through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who is at God's right side. Now that he has gone into heaven, he rules over all angels, authorities, and powers. Friends, it is in Jesus' name that you are forgiven. Trust this and be at peace. Thanks be to God.